Hi all. Today I wanted to discuss a feature which is very important while we are debugging uh, an application. The feature I wanted to discuss is the network throttling which Chrome Developer Tools provides. So here you can see that um, there are different levels of network throttling settings that is how you want your application that is how will your application behave in different network speeds let's say someone is using your application from the mobile and they have a 2g speed or uh, they have a gprs speed or uh, whether they have just a wi-fi access and the speed limit is from 15 mbps per second to 30 mbps per second so these are the levels of network uh, throttling which chrome provides you by default to test your applications in so let's say your developer tools is open and you can test your application as to how it behaves at different network speeds so that you know that how accessible and usable your application is under different network speeds so here you can see that if I make it at a speed of GPRS let's say 20 kbps to 50 kbps and I refresh the page so you see uh, even the google.co.in page it takes time to load so it shows me like how much time the user will take to uh, completely see the page and what are the features which will be like troubling to identify while the page is loading and other issues associated with it it's still loading so it allows you to test your application with for various data bandwidths and let's say I'll make it at 50 Mbps to 30 Mbps Wi-Fi and I'll refresh the page so it is quite fast so it allowed like if your speed is less than that it allows the full speed to do that and it also allows you to add custom speeds that is if you want to define another range which does not come in this range so you can define it and add it to the list and if you go to no throttling it will be your default speed which is there in your laptop or machine and there's another feature called offline basically what it does is it similar like you do you disconnect your Wi-Fi or your internet connection and you test your application let like how it behaves in metal like of working with the application and suddenly the network connection goes out and how the users like the how the user sees the application is there an issue like if there is a network connection issue does your application show a message back so it helps in these kinds of situations to see how your application is behaving and another aspect of this is okay let me refresh the page at this throttling level so it says that no internet connection is there even if internet connection is accessible by me and so I can do all of the tasks in other windows and still test my applications uh, what previously could have happened is if you wanted to test this then you had to like disconnect your Wi-Fi and consequently your Skype and other applications which depended on the internet connection also stopped so it was just you were in a very standalone environment so now I can just test my application in a no internet connection uh, mm, mode and I can still interact with other people as to what are the issues I'm facing so this is a good uh, way to debug and another thing which this offline level will help you is in testing your service workers like service workers help you to cache resources and catch and respond to requests and responses so that would be a good case to test 
and a no internet connection so this is what i wanted to discuss with you all about the network throttling debugging feature which chrome developer tools provides thanks all